We are back in Colorado. Right now, Carson is peeing on the lock because it got locked upside down. Colby has mucho sueño. Can't wake up. He thought he was done camping in the snow. Alas, he is not. Just getting here about 11 hour drive. What's the status, Colby? Trying to muster up the courage to set the tent up. <laughs> Things could be a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> Just out here kicking a spot out for the tent. Carson's getting in on the action. He already peed in the lock. <laughs> He's a real team player. Yeah, no. Really appreciate him. <laughs> like doing a snow dance at 2 a.m. I had to put the old crispies on, keep the old feederuskis warm. Making progress. So, funny thing about a spring bar tent, you gotta be able to pound the stakes in so there's tension to put it up. The ground is frozen solid, so we're gonna move on to plan B as soon as we figure out what that is. Ground was too hard in spot one, so <laughs> we're gonna try in spot number two. But we did some stake testing, and it's a uh, medium rare, so it'll go in. All right, so we're all set up in the Tentola. Carson's that orange dot right there. All snuggled up looking. He looks like, uh, what are they called? Those little animated bears, what are they called? Care Bear. Care Bear! You're a Care Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Three dirty in the morning, seeing what's going on in the social world, you know. <laughs> this wild Wednesday morning. The hunt opened on uh, Saturday, but we're uh, just getting set up here. And uh, saw some deer coming in. A lot of snow on the ground. Gonna be easy to spot the deer. We just gotta survive the temperatures. It was like 25 out there, but it's so all bundled up and everything we want to wear tomorrow. <laughs> Little preheating session. So get a couple hours of sleep, wake up, and go chase them. decided that we were gonna hike back all the way around and a couple ridges that have a lot of sign on them and um, I can't see where any tracks necessarily came out so to avoid bumping these deer we're gonna hike all the way back around get better wind and uh, See if we can find these deer bedded in the scrub oak. Oh, we just saw a really good buck come down off this face behind us. And uh, he went down into the scrub oak. Haven't turned him up yet. We looked at him for a minute and then decided that, 
Yeah, he's probably a deer we want to kill. But this freaking, there's not a, I mean, it goes from a blizzard last night to not a cloud in the sky. The sun is bright as crap. I'm like blinded. Cruising around up right now trying to see if this buck just went down there and stayed or if he's trying to go out the top or the bottom. Let's see if we can find him here. Down. Well guys, we uh, relocated that buck. He fell over right there. We came down in the draw and got on his tracks. So we were so freaking thick in here you know we didn't know if he went up or if he'd gone down and uh <clears throat> got on his tracks and i jumped him about 60 yards up here and he didn't go far and so we kind of backtracked and were able to pick him out in the scrub oak and he was just kind of hunched up there and um was able to put a good shot on him and it yeah put him down he's a he's a giant buck i mean he's my biggest today and i'm i'm super excited i appreciate you cars thanks right for the day, opportunity man i mean you know, i'm just here for the food <laughs> yeah there's a whole plastic tote full of it yes <laughs> but uh it's fun to have these guys here they're such good friends and uh, apart from being you know fellow employees and stuff like that it's it's fun to share these memories with them so yeah i've, I've never been able to take a deer like this in my life so i'm just uh extremely excited so even though I probably don't seem like I feel kind of sad, you know. <laughs> you always feel, I mean, it's funny, people, they think hunters are these big murderers and this and that and whatever. And, you know, I get pretty emotional in the sense you kind of feel bad. Uh, but this guy is just freaking gorgeous, beautiful animal. Well, my phone died, so we had to use the uh, the camera. I wanted to show you guys this deer. It's pretty, pretty freaking old deer. Earlier we said maybe five or six, but he's got about half an ear over here. Got a hole through his ear there. Show you guys. He has four teeth. Just a big old old deer. I mean the winters up here are hard, and I mean this is this is the type of deer you you want to kill. It's funny because we're we're trying to take pictures to do just as to how big his body is. I mean I've got big hands, right? And I can't even cover like half of his neck. I mean, it's just a gigantic bodied deer. Super healthy, but uh, you know, given some of these characteristics, no teeth, you know, you, you don't know if deer like this are gonna make it through the winter. So, I mean, old deer, mature, definitely the type of deer we came here to kill. So, super pumped. Sure. Appreciate you, Carson. Colby behind the camera as always. Appreciate you guys being here, capturing some of the stuff. We got it all cut up. Done did just drug him out to the bottom and got him all taken care of here and now we're gonna walk on back and uh, Go get a bear tag now Eat some food Colby's hangry. He hurts Colby just ran a marathon like two days ago So we're walking through all this snow and he's he's just freaking dying Carson's over here being a freaking workhorse I've got the head and the cape and neck and all the auxiliary meat and he's just like four quarters four quarters well guys unfortunately we were not able to get a bear tag carson lied to me and told me that the bear tags never sell out and they sold out i lied on purpose too i didn't want to have i a drove an hour <laughs> and i didn't get a bear tag so unfortunately we're done colorado was good to us this year good elk good deer two days of hunting two days of hunting we're doing <laughs> we're, doing, we're on a roll Hopefully I can go back to Utah, punch a uh, extended archery tag, got a late season cow tag, and uh, hopefully we can just keep it rolling here. But thank you for watching, guys. As always, please make sure to subscribe. Make sure to comment below. Let us know what you liked. And thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.